So th this demonstration shows you how to uh, reflux. Uh, so I have two uh, kind of um, stations set up here to, to time for how to reflux, either by a heating mantle or a hot, or, um, hot plate stirrer, a mechanical hot plate stirrer. The thing to say to you before you set the apparatus up on the clamp and stand is that make sure that the, the heating elements of both devices are working. You just switch on a any mains and just quickly put your hand over the top just to see it's warming up. Don't scald yourself or burn yourself. Make sure that the mantle is working. So, show you about how to use now uh, the heating mantle. So we have in here a solution, an organic solution that we wish to reflux. First thing to say to you is that if the neck isn't clean or it looks visibly dirty, it's best to take some tissue paper and to clean the neck out of the flask. If you think by just cleaning it with tissue paper is not enough, get some more tissue paper wet with acetone, clean the neck of the flask out. So make sure the joint, the neck of the flask is clean, because if not, and you're putting a condenser in a glass joint, and you're refluxing, essentially you're cooking the glass uh, joints together as such, so it'll be very hard to release later on, on certain uh, circumstances. Right. So we're happy with that, the neck is being clean. Just to point out at this point as well about the, the, the uh, clamp boss, we have it where the um, clamp sits in the boss this way. If there's anything wrong with our setup and we wish to pull the, the flask away very quickly, obviously we can raise it up and down uh, as follows, but if we wanted to pull the apparatus out, we can release hold by the back and move it away quite quickly. We can move away and up from the source of heat. Should reflux in where you have this set up where you're clamping in this way with the boss you actually then have to push down in towards the source of the heat. Imagine this possibly being on fire, which it won't be, but you want to obviously not put your hand in something burning to start with. So again, my advice, boss and clamp, is to be in this kind of setup. Right, clamp the flask into position, into the mantle, possibly making sure that it sits nicely into the mantle. This is, touches the electrical element at the side. You need some bumping granules. So get yourself one to two bumping granules and drop into the flask. This stops obviously anti-bumping. Just to return back about a point of the flask, if you're refluxing or you're doing any work with a flask, make sure it's no more than two thirds full. A 10 mil flask contains five, six mil solution, not eight or nine mil. That's too much, so no more than two thirds full. Get a condenser, put it into place. Just to give you some advice about tubing, how to put the tubing on. Um, so we have water in at the bottom, water out at the top, down into the sink. Whenever you're putting tubing onto glassware, this is already wet. Wet the end of the tubing and put on with a twist. So it goes on with a twist, like that. Should you be doing anything where you reflux for the night, it's best at that point to put some wire around the edge of the tubing to securely fasten it in place. So if you were refluxing for the evening duration or one to two days, make sure then you get some, some wire and you really tighten it around the, the edge of the condenser to make sure it doesn't wobble off or, or squirt off with a, a high uh, jet of water. That's fine. And now check the water rate that we need is a, is, a, is a trickle very gentle trickle that's fine for our needs what we don't want is that flow of water during the course of the reflux that will mean certain flooding for one unlucky member of your group so a nice gentle flow of water if you're refluxing for a long period just keep checking it after the hour to make sure that the water pressure hasn't dropped and then drop down into position, set the mantle going, switch on at the mains, start to heat, got power on, yep, and you start to heat. And, and that 
should set you up nice. Each gauge, each point is about 30 to 40 degrees, so set your heating mantle as appropriate. So you can either heat in that way via a mantle, or you re can return back to a hot plate stirrer. Just turn this off for the moment. So with a hot plate stirrer, you don't need anti-bumping granules, you need a magnetic flea. Get an appropriate size flea, drop it down into the neck of the flask, make sure that we just turn it on, it's spinning. That's a nice spin, that's perfect. We then would encourage the use of a water bath or an oil bath. This is actually a water bath, but sometimes in labs, if you need to be uh, distilling or boiling at temperatures above 100 degrees C, you use a paraffin oil bath. We put it into one of these saucer pans. Water, that is. So lift up, put your water bath into situ, drop the flask down. So we've now got the flask in contact with the water. We make sure that the, the flask is sat with the level of, water, of, of, of liquid inside of the flask above the contents of the water bath or the oil bath. What you don't want is to submerge the flask deep into an oil bath. That isn't refluxing at that point, that's cocking it up. We don't want any of that. Spin it. Set it heating, your water should be flowing, and at this point, it's best then to possibly clamp the thermometer into position into the oil bath so you can record the temperature of the, of the, of the oil and what it's boiling at. So if you were to distill at toluene 110, make sure your water, uh, sorry, your oil bath is boiling at about 130. So get a thermometer and clamp it in position this point and record the temperature and that's how you distill.